behind the line. Behind the line. Let's show her. Behind the line. It is truly, truly heartwarming to see so many people come together in solidarity with Israel. Community gatherings like these are happening around the world and are crucial to show that humanity won't stand for cowardly, armed, criminal factions whose sole purpose is to drive terror into society. <laughs> Golda Meir, Prime Minister of Israel during the 1973 Yom Kippur War, who lived right here in Colorado, famously said, we will only have peace with the Arabs when they love their children more than they hate us. Well, last Saturday was a prime example of why Hamas has not the slightest intention to pursue peace. In fact, the massacre exposed to the world what Hamas's unequivocal mission really is. Hamas is not a governing body with the intent to improve the lives of its citizens and maintain public health and safety know quite the opposite. Its charter demands the terrorization and decimation of Israelis, U.S. citizens, and anyone else in their way indiscriminately. From the very young to the elderly, men, women, children, and including their own. There are many people around the world condoning Hamas's slaughtering of innocent civilians, but fortunately there are more international leaders including our own President Biden, and Palestinian human rights activists condemning Hamas. And that is precisely why we must have these gatherings and be louder and more impactful. That Israel's planned response will be the targeting of murderers, rapists, and kidnappers, but never civilians. Today, we have gathered in large numbers to express those same emotions, yes, but also to show our unequivocal support for Israel and its right to have safe and secure borders and its citizens to live in their homes without constant fear of being subject to another bloodbath. exactly what this war is, a war for our very existence. Never again means never again. We cannot let a Nazi enemy like Hamas kill us or threaten us again. How? We eradicate that threat. Send them where Nazis, ISIS, and barbarians belong. If that sounds rough to you, if that sounds too much to you, then you haven't fully grasped yet what is in front of us, an existential threat. The Talmud says, Those in need in your town come first. Our children come first. Our people come first. Our country comes first. First, even at the expense of the others, the others that will surely and unfortunately suffer now, after their subhuman leadership decided to drag them down to hell with them, while those cowards hide behind civilians and in their host countries like Qatar and Lebanon, 
We are responsible to our people first. Today we stand united. The outpour of support is heartwarming. But in order to eradicate the Nazi threat from Hamas on our borders, to completely and forever eradicate that threat, we will need time. Time, as you know in this world, runs out very quickly. So I ask you, I beg you, stay united with Israel. Do not forget us. I beg you to remember my ask on this day. We will need you to stay with us, with Israel, not just now, but in the coming weeks and months. I feel sick, sick at heart. Every time I see something I did not want to see, another picture of a child or a grandmother or a soldier whose life has been cut so short, sick to my stomach at these hideous stories that we keep hearing. And I am sick and tired of wondering if we really should be afraid here in Israel and at home. I feel sick. Everyone needs someone else to reach out that hand and lift them up out of despair and sickness and grief and so do we. We need that and so will we reach that hand out and lift each other up and carry each other. All of these beautiful faces and all of this blue and white, we will carry each other through this dark time. We're gonna reach out and we are going to hold all of our Israeli friends and neighbors, those who are standing with us and sitting with us and those who are an ocean away on the front lines, those who sleep in bomb shelters, we will reach out and care for and support those soldiers who are literally working to free actual captives right now. We will reach out and lift up our children as they navigate this. And we will reach out and lift up all innocent people who seek peace so that we can make peace. <laughs> Go, go, go.